Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. Yes, my channel. My name is Virtue and I'm a third year civil engineering student at the University in what? At the University of Southampton. If you're new here, hello, welcome. We're friendly, we're consistent. Well, we're not consistent, but we will be 2021. Um, and if you're not new here, welcome back. I just want to say we hit 3,000 subscribers. I want to say thank you so much. I mean, like, fully. Even when I wasn't posting, I still, like, message you guys, reply to your messages, your Insta DMs. Oh, speaking of Insta, I've now changed my Instagram to here. And if you want to find it, it's on. The, I linked it in my description and the YouTube thing because my other Instagram got hacked. And we're not going to talk about it because it was so sad. RIP to this Insta. I'm not even going to tag it so you guys don't even message it. Anyways, um, today's video is going to be a highly requested one, even though I say this a lot, but it is. Basically, what we're going to talk about is the different types of civil engineering assignments you can get set. The things I want to basically explain to you what your sign in at least four years to three or four years of your life on into like i want to show you i want to tell you i want to explain to you what we do because i'm telling you oh my god this year has just got harder and i'm in third year and i have one more year before i i can graduate with the m -Eng in civil <laughs> anyway so that seems like something you're interested in, let's cue the video so i would say there's at least five plus different types of ass assignments you're going to get set and you probably wondering what do i mean assignments i mean like things you're going to get graded on things that like your lecturer or your professor is going to set you and it's going to be like 30 percent 10 percent 15 percent two percent it's just diff different things that will like eventually add up to your overall grade bear in mind that first year in the uk doesn't count to your overall degree mark okay so the first one i'm going to start with the batch is like if you're not used to cad get used to it cad and analysis cad and software analysis is one of the big types so they're basically like oh here's a beam here's a question here's a dimension blah 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 and then you have to analyze that beam and then you do your analysis and you write it all up that's like that's a common type of thing you're going to see it in first year second year throughout your whole degree and if you're not used to it get used to it okay and i'm telling you off the bat um that's that's basically one of the main thing you're going to do another thing is lab reports basically when you have labs best believe you're reporting it okay so once you have a lab in anything a computer lab a soil mechanics lab a mechanics lab any type of lab you're always going to have some kind of lab report which is basically you it's not like back in like gcs or a level where you write your methods or all of that like we know how to do the method because i did it myself the lab report is mainly for you to like com come to your conclusion your results your findings what your hypothesis what did this mean not you basically regurgitating what the lecture is going to hand out to you because they're going to give you a method because come on now we're, not all of us have done an odometer test and or a triaxial test and soil mechanics so there's a procedure you have to follow and then once you've done your labs it's normally like two to three hours <laughs> depending on how fast you work um so once you've done your labs then you have a write-up to do it normally ranges from like 1500 words to like 3000 3000 um words and basically it's basically oh yeah so this is this is my um findings oh like x was increasing with y and then you'd be like this graph shows this parabola or that this cubic or this exponential and you have to explain what this result and then you have to write a discussion a discussion is basically like Okay, so this is my results. This is what the results are showing me, but how does this all link together and how does this tie into the hypothesis or like the initial statement or whatever you're testing out to begin with? So lab reports, CADs and softwares, that's two main, 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 main things. Another one we normally get set, I would, I don't know how to group this in assignment, but I just call it group work. You're bound to get set group work throughout your career. Career? You haven't even, whoa, slow down here. Throughout your degree from first to fourth year, I'm talking about group work, design. You have design every year. So like design one, two, three, and your GDP are all group works, which are like, they're like a whole module, like a whole module of like, and, it depends on how well your group is, like depends how well your grade is, but group work is a thing and sometimes like group work doesn't have to be designed, sometimes it's just like for my highways and transport like module, we had a group work where we worked with three to four people depending on who you choose. Um, I really don't like group work because it's like who's getting the degree, me or us, it's like I always feel like I do worse than group works but you know it is what it is. Um, and then another type is, even though you might not think it, we, we do get set essays. First year we had an essay, third year I'm currently writing an essay. You get set essay, I'm not talking about like lab reports, I'm talking about like essays, like you'd, you know, usual GCSE English skills, pull out from the bag, and you'd be like, um, so this module I'm currently at, I have to talk about like, 
I'm talking about this interface and basically I'm doing a psychology module even though it says it's an engineering module we know it's a psychology module it's called human factors in engineering and all my professors are psychologists so mm. anyways I have an essay in that and in the first year we had an essay like a 3,000 word essay on, about like a particular subject we got we got to choose so essay lab reports group work and CAD software another I'd say it's just like bog standard like this is a question answer it and that's another thing which is what i bet most people would assume engineering is about like so they'll give you a mechanics question or like a structure you have to analyze the forces you have to choose a beam section you have to do like the the checks all of that that's another type of work because I, I don't cast it on the lab report because it's not a lab and it's definitely not an essay it's just like a question answer but what i tell you, the answer isn't like a simple three four or max page answer it can range from like the ones we're recently doing, bear in mind I'm in third year, it ranges from like 3,000 to 5,000 words of pure calculations, pure mechanics. You're computing, your brain is going like, ding, ding. the minute you have to bring a software into this, you know that the question is like, and it's just like, oh my God, it's so long, but like, it's rewarding. So like, those are like the main ones I can think about. Um, in terms of like grading and stuff like that, I would say like, what I like about engineering compared to other modules, or not modules, other degrees, is that I feel like you know whether you're right or wrong. I feel like you know whether you're going to you're going in the right approach or you're heading in the right direction because, like, one, you've learned the content, well, learned. You've done the content um, with your lecturers, you've done the tutorials or work examples, and they normally set something that's similar to what they've not similar, but like they would never set something that you haven't done before. And that's what, well, from the three years I've been here, that's why I could, I gather you, you, they won't set you something that you've never had, or you've never at least tried or something similar. So like, that's how I feel like you would know. So like when people hand in the assignment, they're so confused. Oh, why'd I get 50? Like I would know if I, I've, I'm only gonna achieve half marks because I know what I'm putting in. So I think like with engineering, you put in as much as you get out. Bear in mind, I haven't got any of my results back, so this could be all like I'm trying so much rubbish because if I get a 50 or a 60, <laughs> I might cry. I'm aiming for first. I feel like you should always aim for the top, so if you don't get the top, you can trickle down to like the, the 70s, the 80s, or trickle down to the 60s. But if you aim for a 2 1, then you might get a 2 2. So, like, anyways, I'm I digress, but I feel like it's fair, and, and because of COVID this year, it's different. We normally have more exams on coursework, but this this year we have more coursework than exams because obviously like, you know, COVID and you can't really do exams. And so all these pieces of work we're handing in are like 50% of the module, 30%, 60%. They're like big, big courseworks and big, big weighting. So you can't afford to mess up because that's, bro, that's 50% of your whole grade. And so that's that's why like there's so much pressure. I'm telling you, third year is no joke. I don't know, but like, I thought second year was really hard. First year was all right, but second was really hard. But third year was like, hold my earrings because third year stepped up not in a good way man like there was no need for it to go this hard and it's not like this is my final year this i have one more year i have my masters but anyways so yeah those are basically the type of assignments like you should like encounter whilst in your degree and i there's so much there's loads of variations and besides assignments another ways you can even get marked is like field work like when you go on site and i don't know if on site is even relevant right now because no one's going anywhere during this lockdown but back in the good old days like in 2019 you'd go on site and then that like site work would be like sometimes a whole module grade or sometimes it's 50 percent of the work or 20 percent but you go on site and they just judge you practically how well you engage how well you do teamwork and um exercises communication um thinking on your feet just being logical and like I got 95 on my on-site work and you know I was project manager and I feel like it's really easy not easy but like unless you're incompetent <laughs> no offense um there's really no need for you unless you're not trying you're purposely trying actively trying not to do well in this site thing then there's no reason for you to fail the site work like yeah basically that's all the type of assignments I've encountered and uh, my three years of civil engineering thank you so much for listening and tuning for the next video which is going to be a day in life I promise I will not forget bye